More tonight about the rescue efforts to save a family whose boat sank near Freeman Park. WECT's Lauren Schuster talked to the man who pulled the family from the water and the experience he will never forget. Three people were rescued from their sinking boat on Wednesday in Carolina Beach, and this boat here behind me is the one that saved them. Bennett Brantley headed into the ocean on Wednesday for a six-hour fishing trip, but what he found in the water will stay with him for the rest of his life. Yeah, they were hollering at me, and I finally realized what was going on. I was cranking all my stuff in, got over there, and assisted as much as I could. You know, Just getting him out of the water was my first concern. Floating coolers and life jackets passing his boat caught his attention okay. until he looked into the distance and saw several people in the water, their 17 foot skiff sinking. I immediately grabbed the youngest kid first, put him back here, have him sit back. Then I grabbed the teenager, put him in the boat, and then I helped their dad get in the boat, get these guys to calm down. You know, everything's fine at that point. They're out of the water, and they're just happy to be out of the water. The scene on the beach also caught people's attention with rescue boats and fire trucks making their way through Freeman Park. Yeah, I saw three lifeguards fly down on their ATVs and a couple fire trucks going all the way down to Snow Cuts Inlet, and I assumed something bad had happened. We rarely see any emergency vehicles going all the way down to the north end. As for Brentley, this wasn't a first-time experience helping people from a sinking boat. Six years ago, he came across boaters in distress in the ocean, but unfortunately, it wasn't a happy ending. We had a similar situation before where we kind of came upon a scene where it was not the same outcome, obviously. They, you know, had some people get caught in a rip current and didn't quite make it. You know, we assisted with what we could at that point, just recovering for their families. Just, thankfully, this was a different scenario. I think having to be in the right place at the right time. I'm told that if it was a few hours later, the family of three boys would have been in a different position. Being in rough waters that measure 25 to 30 feet deep and too far from the coast to swim back. This obviously was a learning experience, me being the captain this time. Yeah. Um, just kind of try to remain calm in all of those situations because, you know, they're the ones in the water, they're freaking out more than you, and you're there to help them. It doesn't do you any good to freak out as well. The Coast Guard did clean up any hazards to make sure it wasn't an issue for any other boaters, and Seatow did recover the vessel shortly after the incident. Reporting in Carolina Beach, Lauren Schuster, WECT News.